Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hattie Homemaking, where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning, and lifestyle. So today's video is going to be a Christmas 2021 clean and decorate with me. So today is the day where I'm going to get my Christmas decorations out and I'm going to put them around the house. We have decided we're going to leave the tree until the start of December. So I'll do another video in December with the tree, but I feel like for now, I just want to do the little Christmas see bits around the house just to start the Christmas vibes going nice and early so today I have had an Asda delivery of my Christmas cake things I always do a big Christmas cake for my family and then some small ones for my friends as well so I'm always busy at the start of November I make them at the start of November so that I can fit loads of brandy into them by the time it's Christmas <laughs> when I then decorate them and give them out so I'm going to start to make them this week so that has already got me feeling nice and Christmassy that it's time to do that so I thought I'll put some decorations around my house to get the Christmas vibes going 100% and I can't wait. So how I do my Christmas decorations each year ever since I've moved out I use the same decorations personally that is my style I like the traditional red green things when they're a little bit old I like it where everything's got a story to it maybe a different person has given it to me or I've picked off a different decoration on our travels or whatever I just like doing that I feel like at the moment there is a bit of a culture of feeling like you need to do a new theme each year and I think that's because of social media as well so I just wanted to put it out there into the universe it's okay to do the same theme every year especially this year where we are talking more about the climate and what we can do and to eliminate waste but I think if you are desperate and you really really want a different theme then please at least donate your old Christmas things to a charity shop because I know they have no trouble selling that this time of year so if you do want to get rid of your old stuff please don't just throw it in the bin please do make the effort to drive or walk down to your local charity shop because I know they would appreciate it so much on that note as well without sounding too preachy we had a talk from the food bank this morning in work and they were saying how much people are struggling at the moment for food and that food banks are being visited a lot more frequently because in the UK the universal credit benefit has been cut by £20 and this is really affecting a lot of poorer families so if you do have some extra tins of food lying in your cupboards and please do make the effort to go and give that to a food bank because I know they would appreciate it so much and I know you are here for a Christmas clean and decorate me with me but that is the essence of what Christmas is it's giving so I wanted to make sure that that message is in the video nice and early I'm sorry if that's bored you and I'm sorry if you just want to see the clean and decorate with me but I felt like it was really really important to say so without talking too much now I'm going to go and start cleaning the house and putting my decorations around I'm so excited <laughs> so I really hope you do enjoy this video if you do enjoy cleaning and lifestyle and homemaking videos and please do subscribe to my channel I upload on a Thursday and a Sunday at 4 p.m. Okay so these are our bags that we got out of the loft with all of our Christmas things in well most of our Christmas things anything for the Christmas tree we've left up there for now. I got these bags really cheap um, a couple of years ago and they are absolutely amazing they're really huge so you can fit loads of decorations in there so I've got three big bags so I'm just going to empty all these now lay them out and then I can see better what I've got and what can go where in my house. I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited to open these. <laughs> Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful. Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful. Kissing on a mistletoe's baby
making plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Okay, so this is what we're gonna start with. So I've still got some stuff left in those bags that's mostly for the tree. The tree really is our main event. We go for like full on Christmassy, green, red, warm vibes. But this is some of the little bits we keep from the house. So I'm just gonna take you through it all and let you know what I'm planning on doing with it. So Jon Snow, I think is our longest member of the Christmas family. We love Jon Snow. He goes a lot taller, so you like pull him up. Murphy used to absolutely despise Jon Snow, but now I feel like they quite get along. So <laughs> Jon Snow just stands near our doorway as you come in. I feel like, isn't he just welcoming? Doesn't he look warm and happy? And we just love him. Then I have this little snowman that used to light up, but his little hat broke. I do need to get some super glue on that. For the last probably three years, I've been saying that I'm going to fix this with super glue and then... I don't know, I feel like it gives him a bit of character, doesn't it? So <laughs> we'll just leave his hat off for now. Then I have this little family of snowmen. Oh, sorry, I was going to tell you where everything is from. So I'm pretty sure John Snow was from Home Bargains a couple of years ago. Then we have this little snowman that was, I think, Home Sense. And then I'm pretty sure this was B&M a couple of years ago. Look how cute they are snowman family then i have these candles that i put on the windowsill this was online from ebay i have these christmas holly bowls these were from home sense i then have this plate i actually have the matching mug for this as well and i'm pretty sure it was from ah oh, no it doesn't say it. i'm pretty sure it's maybe from primark i'm actually not sure now <laughs> now that i say it then i have this sort of string of holly and snowflakes and logs i've had that for a while and i'm pretty sure that's home sense i think a lot of my stuff has come from home sense b m or home bargains this little christmas tree was a christmas present last year there's no place like home at christmas so true um i've got christmas candles that one was from home since a couple of years ago and i've just not really burnt it and kept it for a while then you will have seen this candle and this candle in my recent home sense haul so if you're wanting these two they probably will still be in home bargains i think i just said home sense but i meant home bargains <laughs> Then I have these two tins, there's a smaller one inside as well um, that I just like to keep my mince pies or Christmas cake in. I then have this Christmas pillow that is super soft and I feel like whatever room you put that in, it just instantly makes it feel more Christmassy even without any other decorations. Then I have this really lovely wreath. I love this. I feel like it could stay out a lot longer as well because it's not super Christmassy. Then I have this little Christmas sign with a reindeer on. I think that was a gift as well. These two were definitely home bargains and I'm pretty sure they do them every year as well because I've seen them for loads of years afterwards. Then these sort of frosted flowers, they were definitely from Home Sense. This table runner, I'm actually not sure where this is from, but I love to put this over our coffee table. And I think that's it for now. So I'm just going to clean and put some of these around and just make my house feel a little bit more Christmassy. So I hope you enjoy this and come along with me. <laughs> Okay, so 
so the first little area as we walk in has now been Christmasified, <laughs> if that's even a word. So what I've put here, I've got this little wreath and I've put this candle in the middle of it. Normally I would put like a little stand in the candle, but I don't want this little sign about warm hearts and cold noses making this house a home to be covered. <laughs> then I've got my little snowman family. I've also got this little tree here and then we have our name tags from our wedding. Actually, it's not from our wedding. It's from our friend's wedding and we went for the same vibe. So the ones on our wedding said bride and groom, but we've just got the ones that say Hattie and Paul there next to the sort of like log theme. Then we have Jon Snow just to the side, just minding my brolly there. I've got a real attachment to Jon Snow. Murphy's not as sure this year, are you? Oh, look, he's scared. Oh, dear. You don't be scared. Jon Snow won't hurt you. So, yeah, this is the first little area complete. But somehow I knew And maybe so did you That everything would change from now on Yes, bro around what I've done and what the plans are. So you've seen what I did on the one, <laughs> what on earth was that sentence? You've seen what I did on the window sale. I just replaced our usual summery looking flowers with those frosted ones. I'll just quickly show you. I'm just conscious people are walking back from school with their children. I don't wanna get, make anyone feel uncomfortable. So I've just got this um, string of things as well. So let me just, <laughs> back to safety <laughs> so that's what I've done to the windowsill for now it might change as I get the other decorations out too then this is what our tv stand looks like so I already know this candle needs to be replaced this fake candles with some batteries I also need to put some little tea lights in here so I do have tea lights but I want to get the electronic ones they're just a little bit safer 
And then either side I kept these pictures of me and Paul as well. I didn't want to get rid of them since it's our first Christmas as a married couple so I wanted to keep them on there. And then I just have these two, what are they called? Stockings? I can't believe I nearly just forgot that. Hanging on these snowflakes hand oh my word I really can't speak tonight. Snowflake hangers. <laughs> And then I just put the runner on there. Usually I put it on this coffee table here, but I actually decided it's a lot more practical to put it there because we also eat on this table and it kept getting dirty last year. So it's now been cleaned and has a new home in this corner. Then on top of our log burner, I just put two Christmas candles and replaced the Halloween pumpkin-y one that was there. And then I also just put this hanging little garland in place of a little pearl heart we had next to the log burner. Then in this corner, currently we just have this light. So that, this little corner here, we moved this up a little bit and then this is where we're gonna have the Christmas tree. We've had it every year since we've moved in. And then this little second seating area, this is where I've chosen to put that pillow. Let me tell you the sight of this corner with the Christmas tree up with that pillow. Honestly, we do it every year and it just looks so cozy. It looks like something out of Santa's grotto. Then on the coffee table here, I've just kept this little sweetie dish, which I might put some celebrations in. And then I have this lovely little snow globe. I don't think I got this out before, but I found it in the bottom of the Christmas tree decorations because I remembered having it last year. So I just thought I'll put that there. So it's quite minimal for the coffee table this year. Last year went a bit heavier but I think it's just a lot more practical to have it like this. So this is the living room done until December where obviously we'll put a Christmas tree up and maybe a couple more bits around here too. Okay, so now moving on to the Welsh dresser. So this is where I put loads of different things. A lot of my sort of vintage eclectic stuff goes on here it's actually looking a lot more bare than usual but at Christmas time I put a few Christmassy bits on here but also it does display the things around the house I've had to move for the Christmas decorations if that makes sense so I'm just gonna have a bit of a move about I'll probably dust the ornaments that are still on here already and then I'll just add a few bits and bobs to it just to make it look a tiny bit more Christmassy <music> when I was doing this at this little wreath that I used at the front of the house I did this last year on top of this cake topper and it looks so nice I love the way that looks I feel like it just looks so cozy so I've moved that I've kept everything sort of the same I've just moved a couple of things up on the shelves to make room for this this was actually a weight on the bottom of a balloon but I feel like it looks like a little present perfect for a Christmas decoration and that cost me nothing it was just cut off the bottom of a balloon then I have this little pine cone don't know where that came from. I must have picked it up on a walk somewhere. <laughs> then, oh, I've got this little polar bear as well. I'm going to bring him out there. He's very Christmassy, so we'll leave him sat there. So yeah, that's how my Welsh dresser is going to look. So because I've moved this from the front of the house, let me just show you what I've put in the replacement. So I don't think this looks quite as good. This is a decoration that isn't Christmassy. Um, I just keep this around the house anyway, but I've just put some tinsel around as well. And I feel like when the light is on, it will hit against the tinsel. Yeah, that's better. And just look a lot cosier but i'm still thinking about this area i have a little play i'm gonna play a little bit more with this area now let's see what we can do so 
with now I feel like when in doubt just add more am I right <laughs> especially at Christmas time so now I have a whole array of snowmen all in the same place we have Jon Snow we have little I don't think he has a name actually he's just broken hat snowman poor thing if anyone can think of a name of the broken hat snowman feel free I definitely feel like these have really like wholesome names Something like Sheila and John and the little boy can be Tony. Anyway, <laughs> then I've just kept the love sign. This is Rudolph. This is another one who Murphy absolutely hated. So he actually sings a song and Murphy was absolutely terrified of him the first year we got him. It doesn't take much to scare Murphy. <laughs> Then I just have this um, Christmas sign again. This is nothing Christmas related. It's just a little stone. I'm waiting for you. Actually, maybe that could be Christmas. I'm waiting for you, Santa. <laughs> so that is now the hallway, the Welsh dresser and the living room. Christmas vibe, and I'm feeling all festive. Oh, come on. Murph. Look, he's safe. He's just singing. Come on. My big wuss of a dog. <laughs> this way, silly. Oh, we stop now. Okay, we'll put him away. We'll put him back. There we go. We've got to have the annual sing song of Rudolph Murph. Won't be Christmas if not, would it? Okay, so now we're in the kitchen. Before we do any cleaning in here, I need to just put away this food shopping. So that Asda delivery came when I was in the middle of my working day. So I kind of just threw it on at the sides. So these are my two boxes of celebrations. As you can see, I've already had two. <laughs> the Malteser ones are my favourite. I feel like my order goes, the best is Maltesers, then it's the Caramel, then it's the Galaxy. Then it's the Milky Way, then the Twix, then the Mars bar. No, then the Snickers, then the Mars bar, there's the bounty. I'm really interested. I genuinely am to know what your favourite celebration are. I feel like most people's is the Maltesers. <laughs> so I've got two huge boxes of that. So I feel like just them being on display is Christmassy enough for me. Then I have this big bottle of brandy. That is to go, actually, the front's there. <laughs> That's to go in my Christmas cakes. Then I have all this fruit to go in the Christmas cakes as well so I'm just gonna tidy all this away give the kitchen a quick clean and then to be honest there's not many decorations to go in here most of the time my Christmas decorations for my kitchen is actually my Christmas cake so once I've decorated it I leave it out in like it, I almost do like a cellophane and leave it on the side and that looks Christmassy enough and then also with my tins my Christmas tins on the side as well that is enough so I'm going to clean up now I'm going to do some Christmas scented cleaning things like the flora to get the vibes going and then we're going to call it a day in the kitchen just keep it nice and simple for today to be given, how lucky can this heart be? and I fall into peace and silence oh. Listening to this 
stuff so I have a lot more than I thought so I have this second tin that was inside this tin and clever me quite happy with my old self put these two mugs in here all wrapped up as well so I have these two Christmas mugs that one goes with this plate I'm so excited to have a hot chocolate and a mince pie on that I literally can't wait <laughs> And then I also have this Christmas mug as well. I'm pretty sure I've had this for years and years. I think it was one of the first Christmas mugs I bought. Then these two holly dishes that you've already seen before. And yeah, that's all my Christmas supplies for the kitchen. So I am gonna buy some Christmas tea towels this year. I've never bought them before, just because it felt wasteful to buy tea towels that would only be out for like a month. But I really want them this year. So I'm gonna allow myself to buy them and then I'll just use them every year and be careful not to get them too dirty. So I'm just going to organize the kitchen a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of this lavender. Um, just because that's not very Christmassy, is it? So I'll just put it on there for now. And then, to be honest, I do like my kitchen to look very eclectic during Christmas time. I like it to look full of food. So I'll leave those celebrations out. I will put those dishes away. And then I might just leave these dishes out as well, like this. Slide, slide, slide. Yeah, so just replace the lavender with tins. I think that looks all right. And then we'll obviously get my big Christmas cake that I normally keep in the middle. And yeah, I just like it to look full of food. I don't like it to look too modern, too clean, and too like perfect looking. So anyway, I'm gonna put this away now. It smells incredible in here. I need to fold that tea towel as you see in the corner. Nice and clean everywhere else, apart from that tea towel that just happens to catch the corner of the camera. Typical. Anyway, so I'm going to fold that and then put this stuff away. And then I think the only thing to make a bit more Christmassy is in here is just the top of Murphy's bed. I'm probably just going to move some of that summery stuff off and see what I can replace it with. December, me and you and everyone. used to live and we do lots of things I know our folks would not forgive mm -hmm. my time of the year very simple this year for Murphy's bed I feel like we could do with another little ornament there so when I get the other bags down I'm sure there'll be something in there so I've just put this Christmas sign I've left the little picture of Murphy up which is actually quite apt for Christmas because if you can see without the light reflecting on it let me move it and say he is wearing his little Christmas pudding jumper you can just make it out in the corner there which is cute and then I've put a little bit of tinsel behind it then the last thing that I've just remembered in here is 
we have this little hanging heart and then if I go into the room where all the Christmas decorations are I have this little I think it's mistletoe this little hanging bell so I'm going to put that up in place of that heart for a day to forever last, I could wash my now out of all those Christmas decorations I got out this is the only thing <laughs> that remains I feel like I need to find a little home for this now and then I can call it a day so I've only left out the bedroom we haven't done the bedroom today hello Murphy you having a little nap so this year for the bedroom I would like to get like a little excuse the mess here my little to-do list yeah i'd like to get a little mini christmas tree maybe for this corner so i'm gonna have a little keep a little eye out for that um i might get another little christmas cushion as well for that corner you having a little look he's like please not another thing to scare me bless him um so i don't know maybe this could go nicely just there no <laughs> Definitely not, let's try again. Okay, so for now I've just put it on the radiator cover. I feel like that looks quite cute. And it goes with the decorations in here because it's all sort of creamy and light colours. So I'm just going to have a very quick, brief tidy up in here. Just put those clothes away, straighten up the bed a little bit. And then I am going to call this Christmas clean and decorate with me to an end just because all the Christmas decorations that I wanted to do are out anyway now. But still would my past. Okay, so that is going to bring my Christmas clean and decorate with me for 2021 to a close. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I am probably going to move things around a couple of times. Obviously, it is just mid-November and I am going to get the other half of my Christmas decorations out the start of December. So I may do another one of these clean and decorate videos. So please let me know if you did enjoy it so I know to continue doing my second one. You can let me know you enjoyed enjoyed it by subscribing or giving this video a thumbs up and then the videos that do slightly better I just know generally the people on YouTube are in agreement that it's a good video <laughs> so I really hope you have enjoyed this I hope you are excited for Christmas I feel like we really deserve a great Christmas this year after everything that happened last year if you're in the UK you will remember that we were limited to a certain amount of households things just were not the same so I feel like a lot of people are wanting to treat themselves go all out put your decorations up a little bit early if it's going to make you happier I know a lot of people are very very cynical when you do decide to do things a little bit earlier they might be against all the Christmas music but personally for me I feel like the festive spirit just helps people it brings up people's mood especially during a time where the nights are darker and it can get you down it really can so for me it does make me happier to have my Christmas decorations up, to start going a little bit slower, to draw the curtains earlier, to put my nice cosy Christmas lights on and it just makes me so much happier. So what I've got left to do Christmas wise, obviously I need to do my Christmas presents, I need to make my cakes, we need to do the outside decorations. I'm not going to film doing that just because it shows outside of my house obviously but I will film putting up the tree and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to a bit of a festive season here on my channel. I feel like last Christmas I'd only just started my channel so I didn't really have my sort of flow with it I didn't really know what to do and yeah I just wasn't uploading as frequently so I'm really looking forward to really embrace the festive season this year through YouTube as well but I want to do it in a way that's kind to myself that doesn't put pressure on myself to upload videos because everyone else is but I really really genuinely have filming 
this tonight. I feel so happy now. My house just smells so Christmassy and it's just so lovely looking around and seeing all my decorations. So I'm really looking forward tonight to just sitting with my feet up. I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper night as well and just be happy with all my decorations so I'm going to stop rambling now but thank you so much if you have got to the end of this video it really really does mean a lot to me all your support on my YouTube videos I notice the same names in the comments every week and it just means so much to me it's just a quick comment for you but for me it just makes me feel like I'm actually making videos for a community rather than just for myself so thank you so much for everyone that does support my videos so I'm going to stop rambling on now I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one